Hello folks, welcome to the first video of Brilliance Robotics. All the projects that we are going to build will require a regulated 5V DC power supply. A regulated power supply is the one that provides a constant output voltage even if the input voltage changes. My name is Rahul and in this video we will see which 5V regulated power supply is the best. Before we jump into the details, I would like to clarify that the scope of this video is limited to hobby electronics. Hobby electronics is fun. Using stuff that you have built with your own hands is exciting. And I certainly was excited when I first built the 5V regulated power supply on a breadboard. And through this channel, I hope to give you all the same exciting experience that I have had so far. The 5V regulated power supply is required by various components in the projects that we are going to build in the upcoming videos. For example, the microcontroller, various sensors, LEDs, micro servo motors, wireless modules, etc. There are two types of regulated power supplies, linear and switching. Linear is the least complicated system, but switching power supplies have their advantages. Let us first see the linear regulated power supplies. A power supply circuit using a linear voltage regulator can be this easy. It only needs a few capacitors. This is LM7805IC, a widely used IC for getting a regulated 5V supply. It supports a maximum current of 1 ampere. This is another super easy circuit with a different IC called AMS1117. It is a more recent IC than the LM7805 and it comes with a superior efficiency. It supports a maximum current of 800 milliamps to 1 ampere. These are some linear regulated power supplies in the form of ready to use modules which are easily available in the electronic spare shops. Linear power supplies are extremely popular and easy to use. They produce less noise, they are cheaper and require lesser components. Hence they are easier to integrate in circuits. However, they produce heat. Due to their characteristics, while reducing the output voltage to 5V, the rest of the energy from the input is dissipated in the form of heat, which makes them inefficient. Additionally, heat sinks are required, which take up space on the PCB. The next type is a switching regulated power supply. It converts voltages without wasting energy as heat. Hence no heat sink is required and thus it takes lesser space on PCB and it weighs less. However, switching power supplies are more complicated to construct but if designed properly can have an efficiency of 80% or more. Also, they have wide input voltage range and a higher output range and are much more efficient than the linear power supplies. But Switching regulated power supplies produce noise, called switching noise. However, that can be reduced by using filtering capacitors of appropriate values in the circuit. These are some switching regulated power supply modules that provide 5V DC output. These are very inexpensive. Their prices starts from as low as 50 Indian rupees. So which 5V power supply is the best? The answer to this question is twofold. Nowadays, there are several 5V switching modules available out there in the shops that provide highest efficiency with less noise. Hence, in most of the projects, these modules can be used to better the overall power efficiency. However, in certain cases where power requirement is low, precision regulation and lesser noise is most important, linear power supplies can still be used. While they produce lot of heat, they provide the best performance. For everything else, we can use switching modules. 